In this lecture, I'm going to discuss levels. So first of all, what exactly is a level? A level, in the context of the Unreal Engine, can be defined as a collection of objects and their properties that together define an area of gameplay. So that's the technical definition, but an easy way to visualize this is if you've ever played a fighting game such as Super Smash Brothers or Soul Calibur or Mortal Kombat, you know that each match takes place in a different location. The first match might take place in a palace, and the next one in a forest, and so on. So each of these different locations would be its own level within the Unreal Editor. And the same goes with first-person shooter games such as Call of Duty or Battlefield. When you're playing multiplayer, you might get asked to choose a map for the match to take place in. Each of those maps are their own level. So levels are loaded and unloaded into memory one at a time. So if you're playing a game where you're in a town, and you can walk around the town, and every time you enter or exit one of the buildings in the town, the game has to load, then that means that the outside of the town is a single level, and each building interior is its own level. A single game may consist of only one level, but often will consist of many levels. Major releases often contain hundreds of levels. Alright, so when you want to create a new level, you can simply go to File, New Level, or you can use the shortcut Control N. You'll then have the option of choosing between Default, VR Basic, and Empty Level. If you're creating a virtual reality game, you would want to use VR Basic. Otherwise, you'd want to use Default or Empty Level. Default will start you off with some basic stuff already added, including a platform, an atmosphere, some lighting, etc. The Empty Level option will start you off with a completely empty level, and that's the option I'm going to pick. So now I have a level that is completely empty. All I can see in the viewport is this grid here. The grid is only visible to you the developer in the viewport. It's used to help you align objects with one another when you are building levels. So the grid isn't something that is visible when playing the game. If I go up to the toolbar and press the play button, all I will see is complete blackness. Okay, so if you want to open an already existing level, you can go to File, Open Level, or use the shortcut Control O. And from there, you can navigate through your content folder to find the level you want and then double click it to open. When you are ready to save your level, you have multiple options for doing so. You can go to File, Save to save it with its current name, or you can select Save As to save it under a different name. If you have multiple levels that are unsaved and want to save them all, you can select Save All Levels. In addition to levels, it is possible to open and save other assets as well. So what is an asset? An asset is really anything that can be used to help develop your game that can be saved and open. For example, anything you can open or add to your game within the content browser is an asset. So if you want to open an existing asset for editing, you would select Open Asset or use the shortcut Control p and then select the asset you want to open from the list. Now, if you want to save everything you have open, including all levels and other assets, you would select Save All, or use the shortcut Control shift s And if for some reason you want to save only some of the files you have open, you can, choose, you can select Choose Files to Save, and then select which of the unsaved files you want to save. Alright, and that will conclude the lecture on levels.